there is some good news in terms of what canvassing can accomplish and do. The NDP, the third largest party in Canada, they just made a statement after receiving, according to them, 100,000 letters, include myself in there, 100,000 uh -huh. letters, thousands of phone calls. They have not only called for a ceasefire, they're demanding an end to all military sales to Israel by the Canadian mm. government. So that wow. is a, like a, that's a direct result of a whole bunch mm. of canvassing action. So please, if you do have two minutes of your day, go to ceasefire today if you're an American. There's resources uh, to do it in uh, you know parts of Europe, all that kind of stuff. There's a whole bunch of resources on that website to show you how you can email your uh, lawmakers, sign petitions. Uh, if you want money, you can donate to Doctors Without Borders near the end of it, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, keep keep calling Congress members as we're going to be doing uh, live on the show. We wanted to call on on camera because I always hear from people who are they feel like they're socially awkward or don't know what to say. So the website makes it easy. There's a script, but you don't even have to follow it. It's just very basic. Uh, I'm going to call my uh, representative. She is fairly progressive. This is a progressive district, but she does not support the ceasefire. Um, and who's your, Matt, who's your uh, rep? Suzanne Bonamici. Huh. Yeah. So she is she's kind of like an Elizabeth Warren type progressive. Um, and yeah, I, I think that also, by the way, there's a march on D.C. 11 four. There's also a petition. Highly encourage you to sign over 100,000 people have signed this. Um, there's a lot of resources here. You can donate. Over so ceasefire today dot com. It's 200,000 now. Over oh, very nice. It's 237 was the like last. Wow. Oh, very nice. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I'll call. We'll lead by example. There's, I already, call... there's already one U.S. senator, not Bernie Sanders, but one U.S. senator has called for a ceasefire. And I think it's going to be a domino effect. Keep applying pressure. The more pressure. Yeah. Dick Durbin. Especially... Dick Durbin yeah. came out. Dick Durbin. Yeah. You know, Which I will is say, not I will... the first person I would have guessed. <laughs> no. I, will, I will say, though, that whenever there was an attack on Ilhan Omar or Rashida Tlaib, he was usually one of the people to jump to their defense. Hmm. Um, okay. Oh, weird. So, you know... Uh, who knows? Urban. But uh, I I, I'll say it was surprising that he was the first, but I'm not surprised that he did it because uh, I remember him being, uh, you know, the first to come to their side to defend them from attacks whenever, you know, people would try to paint them as anti-Semitic or hit them with, mm. like, you know, attack them with Islamophobic remarks and stuff. Good for him. Let me share the link in all of our chats. So uh, if you guys are cool, I'll call right now. Oh, I'll put it on speaker. One, one quick sec before you do. If you are a Canadian who's watching and you're one of the fans of David Dole here for the Thirst Trap picks, before you go to his Instagram, be sure to check out our commons. <laughs> what are you talking about? Our commons.ca slash members slash en. That's our commons.ca slash members slash en. That's how you find your local MP and that's how you contact. That's how I did it. You contact your local MPs, including uh, their phone number for their office, uh, their email address, their physical address to mail letters. And I just also want to reiterate very strongly never send threats in messages yes. or sending to politicians you will not only be put on lists you will have police officers visit your house i'm not even fucking around with that also don't, don't do just that. send it's threats even if that wasn't the case it's not going to yes. convince yeah. anyone to do what you want <laughs> yeah, exactly. them to do exactly. it's not useful <laughs> and it's against the law yeah. so don't do that <laughs> yes yeah yes. yeah be be responsible uh we're just making phone calls nine times out of ten you're just going to talk to a an answering machine you're not going to talk to a real person but if you do it's not a big deal you're going to get a staffer they're going to down your comments and that is something that they'll deliver to the uh representative or or your mp so right. um N never never in uh the history in history has a congressperson come out and change their mind on something and when asked about it they said oh my constituents said they'd kill me if i did <laughs> well ask republicans though i don't know <laughs> True. they're all afraid of mag over there those all right crazy i'm gonna call i'll put it don't on speaker that. so you can hear it's not a nice. big deal. Um, All right, everybody. Here's how you do it. This is how it's done, folks. Leading by example. Office in Oregon's first congressional district. We're sorry we missed your call. Please leave us a message including your name, phone number, and email address. If you need help with a federal agency, please let us know which agency. If you are calling to leave a comment for the congresswoman, please do so after the tone. Thank you for calling and have a wonderful day. Hi, Congresswoman Bonamici. My name is Mike Figueredo. I'm a constituent of yours. And first, I want to thank you for voting against the $14 billion aid, pa aid package to Israel. And I also want to highly, highly encourage you to sign on to Cori Bush and Rashida Tlaib's ceasefire resolution. It's really 
uh, important that you do this as soon as possible. This is really important. Please sign on again to the ceasefire resolution currently. We need all hands on deck. And if you want my continued support, this is something that I really, really want you to do. So uh, do it. That's it. Didn't, didn't add or else, which is good. Good job. <laughs> all right i'll, I'll there's go there's gonna next. be wait, consequences wait. if you don't know <laughs> where did where did you call you just use the ceasefire today number and it connects you i directly? just googled my congresswoman oh, okay, uh, so office yeah you can call I'm dc i'm doing that now hi congresswoman ming my name is matt binder i'm one of your constituents in flushing new york and I'm calling, uh, first, let me thank you for uh, over the summer, you had a number of passport uh, events to help people get their passports. You helped my kids get their passport uh, for the first time. So thank you for putting those events together. But I'm gonna ask uh, for, for another thing, hopefully you can do for your constituents here. And that is um, call for a ceasefire. Um, and also, you know, in, in order to, uh, in uh, Gaza, in order to not only you know stop what's happening there in terms of the number of innocent civilian casualties many of them children but also so we can uh focus on um negotiating getting those hostages out of there as well um thank you so much for your consideration uh hope you can support the ceasefire uh have a nice night Hi, my name is Rebecca Azor. Congressman, I'm asking that you demand for a ceasefire. We want you to support and be on the right side of history to save people's lives. Um, and we demand that you support Cori Bush and Rashida Tlaib on this effort. So ceasefire now, please. And thank you. Hi, Senator Sanders. I am so disappointed that you have not signed on to the uh, ceasefire resolution or it really introduced the resolution that is a companion piece to the one that Congresswomen uh, Tal Talib and Cori Bush have introduced. Um, it's so disappointing that you're calling for a humanitarian pause because what happens after you get the humanitarian aid in? The bombs continue and it's a half measure. And so I want you to be on the right side of history as you usually are. I voted for you twice. I think you have a lot of great foresight, but on this issue, I really am so disappointed that you haven't done this yet. So I'm begging you to please reconsider and actually call for a ceasefire specifically because this is what human rights organizations are calling for and this is what Gazans are calling for. So please, Bernie, reconsider. Thank you. Hello, Hetty Fry, or most likely Hetty Fry's, I'm guessing, uh, team that would be answering this call. My name is Lance. I'm one of your constituents, and I just wanted to call and please ask for you to support an effort to demand for a ceasefire. The federal NDP has already called for one, and I think it's time that the liberals did as well. At this point, there's over 3,000 children who have died already in Gaza, and it's horrifying to witness every single day, but it's even more horrifying to know that we, uh, as Canadians, are directly funding this, and we spent $22 million last year on military shipments to Israel alone. Can you please put an end to the violence and the suffering and please demand a ceasefire? Thank you. All right, I'll call. Uh, let me call Kirsten Gillibrand. That probably will have more movement than uh, yeah, uh, Schumer. Yeah. But maybe call Schumer and bring up Dick Durbin. That, yeah, I'm going to do both. Let's do this. There you go. By the way, I want every we, we should give time to our listeners to do this while we're still on the air. So they, Some of them they, are telling me that they're calling right now. In, in oh, my, perfect. In my yes, screen. call right yeah, now. Right. Let's Hell do this. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. This isn't oh. just, just us. I'm gonna, I, I didn't eat dinner. So what I'm going to do after this call is I'm going to eat a sandwich and you guys are all going to call, okay? <laughs> 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 also, I like that some people are saying that they're calling to thank their representatives as well. Who Positive are. reinforcement yeah. goes a long way, honestly. That's nice, too. Yeah, absolutely. I've been thanking senators that aren't my, or not senators, but uh, representatives that aren't mine just on Twitter when they say that they sponsored it. I think that's really good because they're going to get attacked for doing this. So let them know that we have their backs as well. I'm calling uh, Kirsten Jill Brown to do this. This mailbox is full. It's oh! full. Oh. Wow. Hopefully that's all different. people calling for this. Yeah, yeah they've I hope been looking so. for her too. So they're probably like, where are you? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. if her mailbox is full, I got to assume Schumer's is definitely going to be. Let me, uh, it probably makes more sense to call your rep. because Your local. The, 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 um, yeah, mm -hmm. the, the, it's much smaller than the entire state. You'll get mm -hmm. through. But let me check Schumer because I'm not going to, if it's, if, if there's room for my voicemail, I will certainly leave it. You cannot record a message oh. for Senator Schumer. Schumer. Then? This mailbox is full. Wow. Wow. Hello. Cisco Unity Connection Messaging System. 
I so mean, Schumer, like, Schumer makes sense as the, you know, the, the head of the, the Dems in the Senate. I mean, he's but but the fact that Gillibrand's was full, too, is very interesting. The local office might be I'm, I'm just going to call my senator's local office because I feel like that might be a better chance as long as they get the message. You know, I'm going to call I'm going to go ahead and uh, dial that. Hi, Senator Merkley. My name is Michael Figueredo. I am a constituent of yours. And I just first of all want to thank you for uh, co-sponsoring Medicare for All legislation. I think that overall, you've been amazing on the issues. But one thing that I want to request is that you join Senator Dick Durbin in calling for a ceasefire in Gaza immediately. There is not a companion resolution that has been sponsored uh, for the one in the House. Um, so if you could sponsor a resolution or at least vocalize support for a resolution for a ceasefire in Gaza immediately, I think that would really go a long way. And I would really appreciate that as your constituent. So please make sure you do this immediately because we cannot wait. 3,000 plus children have died in Gaza. And I think that you're in a position to where you could really make a difference if you used your voice. So uh, please, please, please make sure you do this as soon as possible. Thank you. Good. All some right. people are emailing, like like the um, the voicemail said, you can also email. Some people yep, in I'm my stream are saying that they've, they've done some email. There you go. And that was um, a better option for them. So w whatever you can do, like whatever you can do, if you don't want to leave a voicemail, you can email or whatever else. That's that's good, too. So Yeah. Yeah. And whatever you could. Yeah. Even at, like tweeting at them, asking them politely. Um, it's it's a very easy thing to do. Right. We're mm -hmm. not. This isn't revolutionary praxis shit that we're doing. It's very basic. We're just trying to now that Dick Durbin, I think, has has done this. Uh, it really opened the door. Right. Yep. As who was it's it? That said it's like a domino effect. effect. Yeah. So like now is the time for everybody to pounce on this opportunity.